the fifth variation of the Mozambique, the contemporary Mozambique. Okay, again, just a back check. Mozambique is in a 2 3 rumba clave. Here's the 2 3 rumba clave. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. A lot of you, you know, are probably like, all right, all right, all right, I get it because I, I keep repeating this in the in the beginning of each of these Mozambique videos. So, and then the Mozambique pattern with the right hand, right? is the most consistent rhythm which plays like this. One and two and three and four and 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 okay so again you want to get as comfortable as possible with that Mozambique pattern on your right hand. Okay, because that is the most consistent pattern in order to build these particular grooves on the drum set. Okay. So now this particular Variation is a little different from the last ones that we were doing, but again, we're gonna piece these together like we did, okay, or like we've been doing. Okay, so I'm gonna play this pattern uh, a couple times slowly so you can hear what it is, and then we're gonna piece it together. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. So, a little different than the last ones, okay? Now, we're going to start piecing them together. So, start with the first note, and the first note is on beat one. So, we just play beat one on the bass drum, okay? <clears throat> That's a bass drum note. So, we play the Mozambique pattern with a bass drum on one. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And two, and three, and four, and plug-in note is on beat two with a bass drum. It's a bass drum note. All right. So this is what it would sound like. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Two, which comes right after the bass drum, okay? So it's one and two and, okay? I'm gonna slow this down a little bit more. <clears throat> Here we go. You know, I realized before when I was demonstrating this, I put a, another ride symbol on my snare drum and that's not there. Sorry. One, two, three, four, one and two. What <laughs> and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I'm sure most of you teachers teachers know that when you when you slow down a rhythm it's a whole different other thing especially when you're trying to explain it so i apologize for my mess ups here <sighs> okay so then your next uh plug-in note would be a bass drum on beat three so this is what it would sound like one two three four one and two Okay. 
Then your next bass drum note is on the end of three. So obviously these are written in eighth notes right here, particular this particular beat. Okay, here it is. So it'll be one, two, three. two-bar phrase. Now, on the, <clears throat> uh, on the second bar, we have a tom on the end of two, right? So it'll be one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Okay? So this is what the whole thing sounds like. One, two, three, four. together uh, plug-in you know method because that's how my teachers taught me so uh, like I mentioned in the previous video many of you that attended the drummers collective will know what I'm talking about so my teachers were great okay now <clears throat> so that is the uh, fifth variation so uh, there's gonna be one more so stay tuned for that if you have any questions hit me up see you next time <laughs>